What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to a Pokemon TCG preview. We're going to be looking over the Shining Legends, uh, all of the Shining Legends cards. I think at this point, Shining Legends comes out, like it says here, on October 4th, which is like three days from now when I'm recording this. Um, so I should probably put this video up tomorrow. But anyway, uh, we're going to go through quick and just kind of look at all these cards and the stuff that's coming out and kind of talk about mostly my feelings on the design of the cards but also if i think they might be viable competitively i'm not the biggest competitive person yet i've like tried to get in it and it just hasn't worked out but uh but yeah that's what we're gonna do so uh if you're if you wind up enjoying this video i'd love for you to leave a like and subscribe of course and comment below what your favorite card from this set is going to be so the set only has uh, 74 cards in it, question mark. Uh, yeah, so 73, 73 normal cards. Um, so it's a small set, and I think it's mostly just for, like, cosmetic. I think it's just a pretty set. I don't think it's meant to like shift the meta or anything like that. It does come with some new GX cards that are pretty good. We'll get to those. Um, so let's see. We got this cute little Bulbasaur. Chillin'. Cute Ivysaur. Now this Venusaur, who looks super strong. Uh, oh yeah, this one's kind of interesting. So, the ability Lord of the Jungle, which some of this might be Japanese translations, I don't know for sure, but uh, you get the, you'll get the gist of it anyway. It says, each basic grass energy attached to your Pokemon provides two grass energy instead. You can only use that ability once each turn. So, for the Bulu deck, for, the, uh, for Decidueye, for Galissapod, that might be cool to have. Now, unfortunately, that is a stage two, a stage two Pokemon, so... Uh, might be hard to get it out, so maybe it won't. And then, of course, the big deal with this set is the Shining Pokemon. So first up, we have Shining Celebi. Uh, its ability Time Recall says, as this Pokemon is in play, each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attacks from its previous evolutions. So it's like that one Stadium card. I can't even think of the name of it. That's how out of the competitive I am. But it's like that Stadium card, and it's a, but it's a basic Pokemon. So... Um, that might be pretty cool. I wonder who that could help. But maybe we'll see this Celebi running around as a one-of in some decks. I don't know. Uh, this sh Shroomish looking awesome. That Braylon, look at how crisp that guy is. Did you see that? Just look at how crisp that guy. Alright, Braylon, Braylon looking great. Hibernation Spore, your opponent active Pokemon is now asleep. Flip two, two coins instead of one. If either of them is Tails, that Pokemon is still asleep. That could be interesting. Uh, since there's only one Grass Energy, that could be interesting. Carnivine. Looking like a bit of an older... Uh, older anime... Or, uh, artwork there. Flick Poison. Switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Sun and Moon is all about switching Pokemon. Like... You have, what, Guzma being the main one, and there's a whole bunch of other ones in this set, even. Oh, we have Shaman. Skyform, of course, looking nice and awesome. Uh, flap, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. So, uh, it's a personal N, but it's a Pokemon, but it's like a Pokemon that you have to send out. So, I doubt that'll be used. Uh, Verizion, we'll look at it. Actually, let's jump over here and look at it. Uh... Look at Verizion here. This looks a little better. So, Wrapped in Mind says you may attach a basic energy card from your hand to this Pokemon. That's terrible. Attack this third damage to one. Yeah, so Verizion won't be used. But that's him anyway. Uh, and then we have Shining Genesect. That looks really cool. Supposedly these Shining cards are like... One in every 15 booster packs, which isn't horrible, I guess. I guess? It's not horrible. Shining Genesect. Okay, yeah, this is a better picture. Here. So Shining Genesect. Ability energy reload. Once during your turn, you may remove a grass you may move a grass energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. 
and does 20 more damage. So this won't be used, but he looks cool. Here's our first GX. We have Entei GX, which that's an amazing looking card. Ember does 50, Fire Fang does 100, and the Pokemon's now burned. And for three energy, Brave Blitz does 50 damage, or 150 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay. I don't know if that, I don't know how great that is, but it's it, it exists. Torkoal! Super high temperature, 30 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon's super high temperature attack is 50. Flamethrower does 90. Okay. Larvesta. And Volcarona. Crisp. Okay. Hot Cyclone. Once during your turn, you may have your... Uh, this is what I was talking about. You may have your opponent switch one of their bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Okay. It's going to be part of a troll deck. It's going to be part of a troll deck to go with another... The Spirit... Tomb. I don't know. We'll get there. Reshiram. That Reshiram looks amazing. Look at that. Look at that artwork. Look at that artwork. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that artwork. Looks really good. Outrage 20 plus does. So it's 20. Does 10 more for each damage counter. But it only has 130 hit points. So it's going to be dead in a turn or two anyway. Burning Breath does 130. Yeah, he won't be used. But he looks cool. And we have a Litten. Tora Cat. I wonder if that Tora Cat will show up in packs. And an Incineroar. Uh, Incineroar. I'm pretty sure his, his move changed. I don't think that's the name of it. I think the name of it is... Uh, Profane Punch. Ha ha ha. Is it really called Profane Punch? What? 50 damage. If any of your po if you if your bench Pokemon have damage counters on them, this attack does 80 more damage. So that's 130. If anybody on your bench has a damage counter, and this has 170, that's actually not bad. That's not terrible. Let me see that in Cinnaro, so you can see them a little better here. Let's see the three of them a little better here. Next up is the Totodile line. We'll just look at it here since we have it. Um, Croconaw has this ability if your Pokemon is if this Pokemon is on your bench move all energies from your active Pokemon to this Pokemon and switch it with the active Pokemon so it's like um, it's kind of like some type of Tapu Koko GX but this will never be used four energies for 130 that'll never be what's next this ugly looking Quillfish look at how ugly this thing is Um, your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by special condition. That'll never be used. I think the next it shows these two. It doesn't even show Floatzel, but they'll never be used. They look cool. Or whatever. Next. Who's this? Palkia? Palkia guy. Let's find out. Palkia has nothing. Cool. Whoa! All right, uh, then we have Manaphy. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon that has a water energy attached to it. Never going to be used. Then we have Keldeo. Is there a better Keldeo on this page? Yeah, look at that Keldeo. Bail out, put a water energy from your discard pile into your hand. Okay, maybe in like open format. Oh my gosh. All I'm trying to do is... Okay, never mind. Never mind. Then we have Shining Volca Volcanion. Okay, this is the first time I've ever seen this card. He looks awesome. That looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Shining Volcanion. So for three water energy, you have Dual Pump, which does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. For four energy, you have Quad Smash. Flip four coins. Okay, so again, nice collectible. <laughs> then we have Voltorb. Can we see them better over here? Voltorb, Electrode, Pikachu. Fussel Minin. <laughs> the important one here is this Raichu. Yeah, 
It's Raichu GX. Now, why did Raichu GX come before Alolan Raichu GX? That's weird to me. But for two, uh, for two energy, powerful spark, 20 damage, does 20 more damage for each lightning energy attached to all of your Pokemon in play. So isn't that just like the normal, like the Raichu that we've been used to? I don't remember what set it's from, but the Raichu that we've been used to, isn't that pretty much the same thing? No. No, that Raichu does damage for each Pokemon in play. This one does damage for each lightning energy in play. I wonder if that'll become a thing. Especially if you have this thing. That's going to be broken. Huh, cool. Uh, Thunder 160 does 30 damage to itself. Bolt Tackle. Opponent's Pokemon is now paralyzed. I'll buy you a turn. Then we have this Hollow Raikou. Uh, 30 damage attached to Lightning Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Lightning Ball, 90 damage. Okay, Bustle of Mine, we already saw those. How about Zekrom? Check it out again over here. Zekrom with Outrage. Hey, go away. Stop it. Uh, attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Or Storm Blade. Cool. Ekans and Arbok. This Arbok is... As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, any damage done by your opponent's Pokemon attacks is reduced by 30. That's not going to do anything. First time I read it, I was like, oh, that could be... Nah, that's not going to do anything. And we have this Jinx. Wait. See, where, where's Jinx? Where's Jinx? Jinx, where are you? Look at how ugly you are. Whiny voice. Choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Their opponent reveals that card and shuffles it into their deck. Okay, sure. Sure. And then we get to the bad boy. The guy you just heard the cry for in the music. So Mewtwo GX. And tell me why this is the shiniest card, the most crisp card that we've looked at. So look at how great that looks. But Mewtwo GX, full burst, 30, 30 times amount of energy attached to just this Pokemon. So, it's not so great. Super Absorption, 60 damage, heals 30. Espeon does something like that, doesn't it? Oh. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Psycho Break, 200. It's attacks damage, isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. This will be used. Because that's pretty much the same thing that Gardevoir does. Except, I guess this is attached to this Pokemon. Is Gardevoir different? Hold on. Do I have it pulled up? I do. Oh, uh, what? 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. And this is just energy attached to this Pokemon. So Gardevoir is still going to be better. And then my favorite card in the set. I'm looking for this card. If you have multiples of this card, hit your boy up. I'm... Yeah, I, I want this card. I want all of that card. I don't even care how good it is. Search your deck for two energy cards attached to the Pokemon any way you like. I don't need it. But I need this card. I need this card. I need a bunch of that card. Then we got a Latios. Shout out to the fourth movie. I think it was the fourth movie. Maybe the fifth movie. But Breakthrough does 30 damage. Attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Nah. Lagoon Fight Flight. 70 damage, nah. Shining Jirachi, which I know we can get a better picture of somewhere. Surely. There you go. There's Shiny Jirachi, we can see a whole lot better than we saw before. Stellar Rain. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an, evolu an evolved Pokemon, <laughs> evolve it by putting all of the evolution cards into your opponent's hands. See, I wish it would just discard them. That'd be so funny. It'd be so disrupting. Like, the Espeon from, like, Breakthrough? Breakpoint? One of those two? Is still being used because of Rare Candy and, like, Metagross. Rare Candy, Decidueye. Rare Candy, Gardevoir. Oop, bop. It's the same thing, except, um... I think it has more hit points. I think it has a lot more hit points, actually. Then we have Galette. Hold on, let's, let's see them here. Ah! Look at Mew! I want five Mews. Okay. So we have Golette. We have Golurk. 
Uh, nothing special to see. Then we have Marshadow, a hollow Marshadow. Ability Desperation. I saw this. This might be used. When you play this card from your hand to your bench, both players shuffle their hands into their decks and draw four cards. So, isn't that like, uh, I think there are a couple cards that do that. Is it like Red Card and like Birch if you flip Tails? Something like that. But you play it down, shuffle, four cards. I could see this card being used. I could see that card being used. That way it's not a supporter. I actually, you know what? I bet this card will be used because it's not a supporter. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Am I completely off on that? I know it is a prize card. But. Who knows? And we have a Stun Fisk. Ugly little. Ugly little thing. This isn't even a Pokemon beach. This is an actual beach. And then a, an animated Stun Fisk. That's ugly. I'm not even reading it. I don't care. Spirit Tomb. Oh, here we go. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. So, if you did, like, in a troll deck, you could do something like, uh... I don't know. You could trap... You could trap something up with Spirit Tomb. I don't. I don't. Purloin. Purloin and Lipard. I mean, Torment, maybe? Maybe? I doubt it. What else is going to be there? Zorua. Of course we have another Zorua and Zorark. Why wouldn't we? Scraggy Scrafty. Excuse me. Scraggy Scrafty. Nothing. Nothing really. Then we have Zorark GX. Probably going to be good. Exchange once during your turn. You may discard one energy from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. So for double cost energy, that's 20 damage for each Pokemon you have in play. Isn't that what Zorak normally does? Isn't it like foul play? No, no, no. It's the opposite of what the old Zorak does. Um, and the old Zorak only had 100 hit points. This has 210. Trickster, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. Wait, can you use GX attacks? You can use GX attacks, wouldn't that be really good? For two dark energies, you can just like use their GX attack against them? I guess it's only once. And then you just do this. Skyfield is here to stay. Alright, then we have an Evel Tall. Evel Tall. I like that L right there. Evel Tall. Strafe, 30 damage, switch with one of your Pokemon. That's Umbreon. I wonder if Umbreon... I wonder if this will just go into an Umbreon deck. Oblivion Wing, 90, attach one dark from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Is that what the old... Is that what the old Eveltal does? That's pretty close to what the old Eveltal does. That's funny. And then we have a Hoopa. Which is a basic... Basic Hoopa, prevent effect, all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's GX and Pokemon EX. So there's definitely a deck for that. You would just be looking out for Garbodor, which I guess is pretty common still. Um, but, I mean, that could be really good. That could be really good. And you're doing 80 with three energies. That's not horrible. Not horrible. It could be worse. Then we have the Shining Rayquaza. Dragon Pulse, 40, discard the top two cards of your deck. So they don't intend on you ever using Shining Pokemon. I understand now. I understand now. They don't want you to use these. They want you to collect these. I get it. I get it. Sky's Judgment, 190, discard three energies. Are you kidding? This, this might be the worst card ever made. The worst competitive card ever made might be right here. Shining Lugia. Silver Wing for three energy. If your opponent's active Pokemon has an ability to act does 60 more damage. So that would do 120 on a Lele. It's not bad. Or or you can do 10 more damage for 4 energy. Okay. How about Shining Arceus? The God Pokemon. Right? Remember, it's supposed to be the God Pokemon. We still don't have an Arceus EX. We still don't have an Arceus GX. Right? I don't think we do. 
If we do, let me know. I don't own it. Mythical Protection. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to your bench Pokemon by the attacks of your opponent's Pokemon. Ultimate Arrow. For 40 damage, attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Alright, and then let's go ahead and look at these trainers. Sophocles, Ultra Ball, Super Scoop Up, Lily, Pokemon Catcher, Damage Mover. Damage Mover, Remover, move three damage counters from one of your Pokemon to one of your other Pokemon. Easy, how Pokemon Breeder is a little interesting. I think, if I remember right, Pokemon Breeder says draw two cards then heal 20 damage from your active pokemon but that's a supporter that doesn't deserve a spot in any deck ever and then we have a warp energy provides a colorless energy when you attach this card from your hand switch that pokemon with one of your bench pokemon <laughs> so much switching going on behind me is an energy retrieval oh you can see it right above me now so not really any like all reprint trainers for some reason all right what else Let's take a look at these full arts. Full art Entei. Full art Raichu. Full art Mewtwo. Full art Zoroark. Of those, I'd probably say Zoroark is my favorite looking of the four. Maybe followed by Entei. I think Mewtwo's okay, but I want a Mew. I want Mew GX. Pokemon Breeder, that looks really cool. Of course, I'm never going to pull it because I've only pulled one something above a GX in like the last two months or something. But. Then we have Entei Hyper Rare. We have Raichu Hyper Rare. Mewtwo Hyper Rare. And Zoroark Hyper Rare. And then, of course, I do believe there's one last card. And if I pull this card, it is the Mewtwo GX. The special Mewtwo GX. What is this? What's the story behind this card? Uh. Uh. Just a special. There's 78 cards in the set. I don't remember. I thought I thought there was something special to it. It's a special card. It has the same foil treatment as Shining Pokemon. Cool. So to wrap up, let's take a look through here. Wait, whoa. Hi. Oh, that's Shining ho -Oh that comes in the box. This Pokemon, your active Pokemon, is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attacks. Move up to two basic energy arts towards this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon anyway you like. Terrible. Or as, uh, whoa. As, uh, Charles Barkley would say, terrible. All right, I want all of these. Save your blister, save your packs that have Mew on them and send them to me. And lastly, there's all of the, oh, you know what? There was something else I saw before we started this. Uh, we have reverse hollow sun and moon energies, which is amazing. The sun and moon energies are, look, are, they're so clean. Cause they're just like, I mean, it's, it's just what you see in front of you right here. Like, they look so clean. Look at that. Because it's just energy. It's not like any, there's nothing extra around it. It's energy, and then it's the color of the energy. I really hope I can pull some of those reverse ones. But um, I do think that is it. I do think that is it. So uh, we're going to pull up Shining Mew and we're going to wrap up this video. If you did enjoy, go ahead and hit the like button. Do subscribe if you're new. And let me know what your favorite card that's coming in this set is. And if you don't say Shining Mew, what is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Or you can say that special Mewtwo GX, whatever. But if you say something like, I don't know, if you say like Jinx, we might have to fight. If you say Ekans, like, I might just ban you. I really don't know, so I don't know. Oh. But that's going to be it. We will see you for the next Pokemon TCG video. Until then, have a blessed day.